The overall goal of this procedure is to generate a quantitative kidney function assay in zebrafish. This is accomplished by first anesthetizing zebrafish embryos at 72 HPF. Next, the embryos are transferred to an injection mold and orientated so that their hearts are to the left of the field of view. Then the pericardial cavity is injected with a rhodamine dextran fluorescent dye and fluorescent images are acquired of the cardiac region using an epifluorescence dissecting microscope. Ultimately, kidney clearance of a fluorescent dye is assessed using epifluorescence microscopy. The main advantage of this technique is that it produces a quantitative readout of zebrafish kidney function without requiring blood or urinary tests, which aren't possible in zebrafish. This method provides a powerful tool for evaluating kidney function in zebrafish disease models. After pulling needles and preparing a mould according to the text protocol, cast the mould by first pouring a 2% agarose solution made in fish water into a 90mm Petri dish. Place the mould on the Petri dish, permitting the stacked slide edges to submerge at an angle under the agarose surface. Allow it to set for 30 minutes. Remove the slide cast and use fresh fish water containing tricane anaesthetic at a 1 to 25 ratio to cover the slide imprinted agarose. To perform zebrafish injections of fluorescent dye, use a standard microinjection setup consisting of an air compressor connected to a pressure regulator system that feeds into a straight pipette holder for use with 1.0 outer diameter capillary.